this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. We are here for another one of our Tidy Fridays and today I want to just sort out my 12 for 12 papers. I mean they're pretty tidy actually to be fair you know now that we've got rid of all the stuff from the front of the cupboard I can get to them all fine but I'm pretty sure that I've got a lot of papers there that I don't really need anymore and I'm you know not likely to use. So I'm going to just pull them all out and probably take them across to my desk. It's a really dark, drab day, I'm afraid, today. Um, so obviously even darker now being in the cupboard. So I'm going to pull the papers out, take them across to my desk where hopefully we're going to have much better light. So I'll see you in a moment. Right, I've cleared one whole side. So those papers I've taken over to my desk, but I just wanted to kind of show you. These are all just plain coloured card um, in 12 by 12 size. So I'm going to just leave them in the cupboard. I know it is very dark, so I do apologise again. Um, I'm going to leave them in the cupboard because I think that's quite a good way to store just some plain coloured um, 12 by 12 card. So when I come across any other plain pieces, they will go in there as well. So I'm not going to take those out. We're going to sort through the ones that I've pulled out and then we will clear this side as well. Okay, so I just thought I would show you, this is the pile of papers that I have pulled out. So I'm going to pull them up onto my desk kind of a bundle at a time because otherwise the, you know, the camera's not going to be able to film it. Um, and under my desk, which, yeah, it is still pretty clear to be fair. So I'm, you know, doing quite well keeping it clear. Um, I've got my lovely haberdashery, haber, haberdashery um, paper pad that I so, you know, lucky to receive in Happy Mail. And also that lovely Tim Holtz one that I also received in Happy Mail. And they're kind of down there just because they're special ones that I've been hoarding. But once I've sorted out my trays, I may well actually be able to put them, um, you know, up on the, you know, in the racks as well. So let's have a look and see what we've right, got. The first thing, which is obviously quite apt at the moment, is this pack of chipboards um, and it's Christmas themed. <sighs> I don't know really whether I'm likely to use this, but I guess this could be something fun that we could do if I get time. I'm going to put that kind of behind me on the floor so that hopefully I will remind myself to kind of maybe do that in the next few days. So um, whether or not I get time, that's just the only kind of consideration really. So all things that are full size pages, I'm going to kind of keep um, to one side or, you know, put obviously so they slot straight into the cupboard. Um, I've got some of these lovely scrap pad to go um, packs from K and Company. I know I've talked about these before. They really are awesome. I've just got card here. So again, I'm just going to put that to give to the school or give to my daughter. Um, I don't think K and Company do these anymore, but I had managed to pick up a few of these years and years and years ago when they kind of were doing them um, quite a bit. Oops, what are these? That must be like a tag here. Um, really, really pretty. I mean, some are obviously kind of, you know, nicer than others or, you know, more appropriate to what we do now. Um, this one obviously is a baby themed one. Um, I'm probably not really that likely to use the bits, but that said, a lot of these papers are pretty neutral. I mean, they're double sided. So like this one with the sheep, obviously I'm not likely to use, but the other side of it, is just a peach polka dot so therefore I would use that so I mean definitely this is worth keeping and then we've got lots of kind of die cut shapes and things which you know they're probably quite handy to keep as well so this is definitely a keeper um oops bits and pieces that are just there kind of falling out now so I'll just slot these inside there I've got this pink flowery paper now, I have to be honest and say, I probably won't really use this. Although, perhaps I should make a pile of papers that we could just make some envelopes and things like that from. So, I'm going to have piles going all over the place behind me. So, I'm going to put that on the floor. Um, so, that's those two. I'll just keep those there. These um, stamped images and things, again, I could just fussy cut those out and use those. That I can just spin that. Um, this absolutely gorgeous paper, really super pretty, isn't it? I think I got this from HomeSense a couple of years ago. Again, kind of hoarding it, but definitely I would use this in junk journals. I have made some things from this before. 
Then I've got a whole bunch of kind of scraps actually that kind of have made their way into the, you know, arena. Um, I've got this gorgeous paper. Again, I'm probably not really going to use that. So I'm going to put that with the, you know, donate to the school or wherever. Then I've got lots of these bright coloured index cards. This is an 8x8 one, which I keep my 8x8 somewhere else. So again, I'll just put a pile down behind me to slot that in with the 8x8s. The brightly coloured index cards, um, I mean, obviously I'm not going to bin those, but I haven't really used those particularly, I've got to be honest. So I should probably try and keep those somewhere else. I'm going to just tuck them into my drawers behind my desk and then eventually they will get cleared out of there. <laughs> okay, right. I can get rid of that because it's kind of damaged and things. Get rid of that, it's titchy. The brown, as I say, I find that quite useful to back journal cards and things like that. Um, a scrap here. I mean, again, I don't know quite what's happened to this. It's kind of got faded, I think. Uh, I mean, we could make a couple of tags. So I'm going to put anything that I think let's make something in the near future. I'll put down behind me. So again, this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I probably actually prefer the the stripe side so again you know it's kind of an off cut so thinking make some some bits with that <clears throat> oh more more off cuts here so i mean these i could put in my scraps bin because they're actually tiny so put those to the side this which is like a halloweeny themed sheet <sighs> again i mean i do really like it thinking let's take all the scrappy type bits and have a kind of mammoth mammoth I mean probably I was going to say day but probably a week of making things with the scraps I've got this gorgeous pad from um Tilda and this I did actually make a journal from using this pad um which I did actually as a giveaway so I'm just going to keep this pad in its entirety it's got some you know bits that I've cut out and things I'll just keep those in there I mean I've kind of got to the stage I'm hoarding that pad because you can't really get it anymore so um yeah I'm kind of just hanging on to what's left of it I've got this paper which again absolutely gorgeous very vintage and yummy so I can keep those <clears throat> another scrap so I'll put that on the scraps pile behind me so, I mean, as you can see, I'm really making a lot of scrap piles again. So this, again, I mean, I love polka dots and, you know, equally I like these little journaling card pieces as well. So, again, I mean, I would definitely use that type of thing. Then I've got this gorgeous floral. Isn't that just beautiful? I've got this one here. So all of these, I, you know, I would consider these very useful and usable. I mean, as you can see, I really seriously don't need paper ever again, quite honestly. But, you know, paper's a bit of a weakness of mine, so I will still continue to buy it because, um, yeah, it's one of my, my favourite things to buy, really. Um, let's have a look. So we've got these. Now, I'm sure I saw some grass a moment ago. Oh, don't know where that's gone. Oh, here we go. Right, so all of these I would deem, you know, pretty usable in my junk journal. This, again, easy to use. It's just, you know, neutral colour, so great as a background. This one, I've got to be honest, I wouldn't use that probably now. It's very glittery. Um, yeah, I'm going to donate that to the school because, to be honest, even with the best will in the world, altering this, as we have done occasionally with the... Um, you know, are altering the 12 by 12 papers because this is glittery and got that texture, it's not going to be the best, it's not going to transform, you know, in the easiest way. So, I'm just going to put that into the donation pile, and then here, right? So, again, I've got this grass now. Again, I probably would not use this in a junk journal, however, I would use this in cards, particularly if I were making kind of boys' football type cards and things like that. So I'm going to make another pile, honestly I have piles everywhere, for card making papers specifically rather than journals. So let's bring in some more. Okay. Right, I've got these papers here which are absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, 100% these are, you know, definitely, definitely to keep. 
put those down behind uh, under the pile then I have these ones which again absolutely gorgeous papers so you know would definitely be able to use these in a junk journal I mean I've got to be honest maybe I would struggle with this one a little bit more it doesn't look very vintage um, to me even if it were coffee dyed it wouldn't really come up very vintage looking but that said the yellow is quite nice and to be honest could always make like little pouches and envelopes and things like that so you know it's still going to be usable as something so keep that there right this um is some of that lovely craft colored card that i love so much i'm just going to flick my lamp on it seems to be getting darker by the minute um it's only early it's only like 10 o'clock or something in the morning but yeah it's very very dark here and just raining for the whole day apparently um so this obviously i've <coughs> got a section missing from here so yeah i won't put that in the scraps because it's more or less a full sheet of paper right here just some card some clear acetate which i love using acetate this actually looks like it might even be a brand new pack um so again oh perhaps it has been opened i'm going to kind of keep that to the side so hopefully i can keep that a little bit separate to the papers okay let's bring in some more so again some more gorgeous florals oh and beautiful polka dots on the back so all of these i would you know without a doubt be able to use very 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 easily then i've got a couple of sort of off cuts which again because they're smaller i'm going to put those in with the paper scraps to make some things oh that was another smaller piece i have not realized okay so then we've got these we've got these with the keys now i've got to be honest and say i've used loads of these and you know when you just get really fed up with a paper because i bought a few packs and actually this key print was in several of the packs so i'm going to get rid of that to the school i mean i know i'm not really making much of a dent here but every little helps right this what's this these were just some um pieces that i've covered here maybe to use a, as a cover or something like that so these should probably go in my magazine files where i've got my covers and things oops this i'd obviously started making something as well so i'll just put that on my desk for later these again i mean aren't these just scrumptious papers I mean, these are papers that probably, you know, if I'm truthful, I'm now hoarding because I've obviously used, you know, when you get a paper pack and there's two papers and these are the, the second one, if you know what I mean. So I can't now bring myself to use these, which I mean, is crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. But I don't think I'm alone <laughs> in doing this, but yeah. So, I mean, these are going to go back in my cupboard and if I'm truthful, they probably won't ever get used because I will just hoard them and hoard them. So again, we've got just a neutral one, which easily, you know, can be used to make actually all sorts of things. These kind of chevrony patterns. Again, I have to say, I mean, I've used these quite a bit in other projects. I'm probably a bit fed up with these. So, do you know, I'm going to get rid of this to the, um, the school. Or I could keep those for um, altering or, you know, printing on and things like that. This one here, again, I probably wouldn't really use the edge. It's got a sort of glossy sheen to it. And I wouldn't probably use this corner. But this section here would be really quite good for using as kind of backgrounds and things like that. So perhaps I'll actually put that with the scraps. Because by the time I take off the bits I wouldn't use, it's more of a scrap really. Again, I've got this one and this one. This one I absolutely love, 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 love. This one, I do love it. I've got to be truthful, I would probably struggle to use this. Um, yeah, it's again, it's got the raised glittery type bits, if you can see that. I would probably use mainly this inner section. So for that reason, I'm going to put this with the scraps again. Then I have a whole sheet of letters, so more kind of like scrapbooky type things. Um, I'm going to put these with the card making because that maybe will become a card making slash scrapbooking type piece. Oops, I've got some acetate there. Thin, thin floppy acetate that I like to use for my napkins. Right here, we've got this one 
again this is a bit more kind of card making -y, scrapbooking -y, so i'll put that there this i absolutely love this um but it's quite flimsy it's it's not very thick um well i put it here and what i might do is in the new year try and make a conscious effort to actually start using some of these papers I know, famous last words, as if that's going to happen. This, again, I probably would not use this. I've got to be truthful. It's just not really, you know, my kind of thing. So I'm going to put that again with the papers that, you know, I will go back through that pile. Maybe they will be donated. Or if not, I might just keep them for printing. This, again, would not use this in a junk journal, but possibly in a boy's card or something. So, and I'm so sorry that I can't tell you what any of these papers are. I've had them for such a long time. Most of them are no longer in the packets. Um, these, again, probably wouldn't really necessarily use them these days for junk journaling, but definitely, without a doubt, I would use them for cards and things because they're really great for cards. Um, and by the looks of things, those were from this pack, which is a Recollections Night and Fall. Oh, don't you love that page? Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? Yeah, I love that page. I mean, these are all, you know, what I would sort of say are a bit childish looking. So I might just put these off to the side with my card making supplies. So again, I'm just going to tear that out. So as I can keep them separate. Now I'm going to get rid of the front. No, I'm going to get rid of the whole thing. I was going to keep it to make covers and things, but to be honest, it comes to the stage where you just have to kind of face facts and think I don't need any more for um, keeping for covers and things like that this um, clock here as you can see absolutely love 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 this and I've had this for years and years and years and just hoarded it and hoarded it because of course I can't really work out how to use it you know for the best to make the best of it um, so yeah I mean I'm definitely going to continue to hoard this because of course I love it so I'm just going to keep this you know with this existing pile again same with this paper I mean this is just so pretty that again I've had it for years and years hoarded it for the longest time this is um almanac collection libra I think it says um yeah oh prima i was trying to look to see who it was by prima and on the other side it's got journaling cards and things like that so i mean i would definitely without a doubt use the, all of this you know both sides problem is i really like it and therefore you know haven't used it for the opposite reason of not being able to find a use for it but instead just loving it too much then i have got this really super cute paper pack which I mean, again, I wouldn't necessarily use these bits in my journals. So I'm going to tear these bits out and put them with my, oops, card making type stuff. Um, what's this? Oh, a journaling card there. So I'll keep that with there as well. This, again, I wouldn't use in my journals, but possibly in a card. So these definitely you know 100% could use in journals in fact I think I probably have used these ones in journals before so I'll put those there uh this black again I wouldn't really use this in a journal because it's got this kind of like minty green running through it which to me feels quite modern so I'm going to put that with my card making this one I mean again a little bit fed up with the chevrons because I've used them quite a bit but it has got these gorgeous little delicate areas of kind of script, which I do really like. So I'm going to just put that with my, you know, journal papers. Then we've got this absolutely gorgeous page, which I mean, I just love, 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 love. And this one. Aren't they just lovely? So again, they will go in my vintage, vintage papers there. Okay, right, so here we've got some of the animal print. Again, definitely wouldn't use this in my journals, but I would probably use this in a card. Um, so I'll put that to one side. I've got the pink, again, very pretty. <gasps> love, love, love the spotty. More of those flowers, but this time it's a glittered flower. Then we've got this. I mean, all of these I think I have used. I'm thinking maybe it was a mini album rather than a journal, but 
I have used them and they were lovely. So again, these, I'm just going to keep these for my card making. I mean, this is a super yummy pad, I have to say. Really gorgeous colours and um, yeah, very, very pretty. So that there and again, some more animal print, another one of those. Again, just put those to that side with my card making. And then these couple, I would again be able to use oh, these, these couple in journals. Super pretty. So I'll put those here. Because also don't forget, they're going to look very different once they're coffee dyed. So again, put that with my card making. Now, I might hang on to the back of this. I know I said I had enough card, but the reason being, the card from the other pad was quite glossy. Um, you know, which sometimes you have a problem then getting things to stick to it. This one is much more matte. So, you know, it would be easier to use. So I've got another section in my cupboard where I just slot sort of cardboard and things down. So I'll put that, oh, I'm running out of space here now on the floor. Um, put that behind me. Okay, we might have to do this in two videos, you know, because I don't think I'm even halfway through the pile. More animal print. I mean, clearly, <laughs> clearly I'm drawn to animal print here. So all of these, again, I mean, these were actually from, um, I think it was a die cuts with a view pack years ago. Can't remember now the name of it. Um, but it was quite trendy over here. And um, yeah, I mean, I would probably struggle, I have to say, to use these ones. I'm not over keen on these kind of colours. Um, but that said... Hmm, oh, I don't know now. I would probably struggle a lot more with the spots. So I'm going to keep the animal print. I'm going to get rid of the spots. And I'm going to keep the stripes. So, yeah. Okay. And, oops. Again, so this is cardboard, but I'm going to get rid of this because this has got like a wax kind of film over it. So, again, I would possibly struggle to get things to stick onto there. So, yeah, that's going. Right, another scrap. Oh, another yummy, yummy, yummy page. Right, so again, then we have this paper here, which has got all of these gorgeous little sentiments. So, I mean, just fantastic for fussy cutting. Obviously, a lot of fussy cutting needs to take place here. So, again, it's something for kind of slow time. So, I'm just going to put this here for another day. Um, these, again, I mean, they're not the best quality paper, I have to be honest. Okay, I'm going to get rid of those. Or oh, these ones, to be honest, they're quite flimsy. So these would be ideal for just reusing, you know, to print things on. So put those with the kind of donate slash use for printing. Again, this one wouldn't use in journals, but it is quite pretty and would make quite pretty little cards for children and things. Uh, some of that handmade mulberry paper, which I didn't realise I had any in black, actually. Um, so again space I'm going to put that behind me with the cardboard so that I can slot that in with my other mulberry papers right another one of those scrap pad to goes I mean if you can ever pick these up like on eBay or anything they're really worth buying because you do get such a lovely variety of things I mean loads of different um you know die cut pieces and what have you these are actually stickers and you know tags and all sorts of little bits to have fun with um, as I say, some are better than others. These are probably not really, you know, not the best. But there was a lovely one, which I can't remember the name of, but we might come across it um, somewhere. Although I don't think there's a lot left of it. But yeah, some are better than others. This one, probably not my favourite. I'm going to keep this with my card making because, again, although this one... I'm going to just, oops, just tear that off. The back of this that would make pretty nice stuff wouldn't it so i'm going to put that with my with my journaling stuff right let's get rid of these i'm just keeping the most minuscule scraps on the planet uh so these ones here i'm going to keep it kind of bound because obviously all of these bits are just then going to drop around and you know be quite loose so it's probably better to keep it in its you know entirety um, a little scrap there, again, we'll make some tags and things like that. My gosh, how much time I think I've actually got for making all these tags and what have you. I have no idea, but 
much. Yeah, it's all going behind me. So again, I've got this paper here, which oops, I bought probably for other patterns, really. Uh, well, I really like these four and this, actually, with butterflies. I'm not quite so keen on these patterns here. Mm, that one's quite nice. But I have used these quite a fair bit in journals and things. So, well, again, I'm going to try and make it my mission to start using some of these bits and pieces. So, I know, I've really not cleared out very much here, have I? Love all of these. <gasps> yep, they're all scrumptious. So, definitely, definitely keep those. Oh, another stripy one from that um, scrap pad to go. So, again, I'm, you know, this, although it's quite vintage looking colours, they're not necessarily my type of colours. So I'm going to put that with my card making stuff. Oh, here's another one. And this one. Oh, look. Little drawing from... Oh, must have been my son, I think. From a long, long time ago. So, yeah. And then... Oh, these are just some freebie papers from a magazine. I must get rid of those because, to be honest... I just, yeah, I must get rid of something here. <laughs> okay, so in this pad, again, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous papers. And again, what's happening is I've now started hoarding these because, of course, I'm down to kind of the last one or two. I don't now want to use them because they're so, so pretty. So, yeah, these, without a doubt, I'm just going to, just going to continue to hoard, really. So I'm just going to put those here. Honestly, we should probably do a recap of this in like a year, to, you know, a year from now and see how many of these papers that I've used. And I would probably lay money on it that I would have used none. <laughs> They'd all still be there. So I've got these ones here. Again, these were from another scrap pad to go. And again, aren't they just scrumptious? I really, really love them. I don't think the camera's probably picking up the colours very well because of the dark, but they really are so pretty. I really do love them. But do you know what? I'm going to put these with my card making instead. Right, this again, I'm not really likely to use that. I put that with my get rid of. These again, not the best quality papers, it's got to be said, but I love the way they just all go so perfectly together. And so you really can make some really pretty cards and things like that from these. I mean, again, how often do I really make cards anymore? Yeah, probably not a great deal. And I have kept all those other papers, to be honest. Right, let's put these in the donate pile. I must, 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 must get rid of some of these things. So again, some more very thin paper. I think years and years ago, I'd bought um, a pack with it was something like I feel like it was 500 it can't have been 500 I don't know it might have been 100 sheets of um, patterned paper but they were all very very thin quality again this stripy one I mean I love using stripes and things for boys cards so I am going to keep that one um, but yeah that's why I've got so many of those thin sort of quality papers because they all came in this huge pack right again so look at this gorgeous paper page isn't this just beautiful so definitely keep that and this again gorgeous I mean you know gorgeous to the point that I can't make myself use these things which is just absolutely crazy isn't it literally crazy okay right so again this is the rest of you know the remainder of my craft colored um paper pad that I absolutely loved so much of course, I now have my lovely haberdashery one, which, again, is all based on this craft coloured card. So, I mean, to be fair, I could now stop hoarding this and, you know, get cracking using some of these. But I absolutely love them. So, definitely, definitely not getting rid of those. Right, moving on. More acetate. Um, so, again, just going to put that in my napkin drawer. Okay, we have this. Again, not really very junk journaly, but very birthday cardy. So a plain, plain sheet here. I mean, again, I probably wouldn't really use that now. Oh, we've got some happy birthday stickers again. I'm just going to put those all down for the donation pile. Look at this gorgeous paper. So again, quite happy birthday-ish. So I'm going to put that there. 
Um, and then we've got these couple of papers, which again, I've been hoarding this for a very long time because it's so gorgeous. And this one again, it's, you know, to me, it feels quite boy -y. quite nice probably for making some boys cards. So, right, okay. We still have a lot on this pile. So yeah, definitely I think this is going to take more than one video. So I do apologize that this is such a lengthy process. So again, another one of those scrap pad to goes. This one is called Chocolate Neapolitan. So um, yeah, I still have the title piece on there. So lots of scraps in here. So, oops, again, love this. I'm going to keep that, in fact, on the scraps pile. We can make some clusters and things like that from that. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, actual, you know, minuscule scraps. Uh, a little banner piece. Okay, so let's just leave those. Um, that's a full sheet. That's a full sheet. So again, I mean, I'm not keen on this side, but I do like this side. Yeah, so I really like this, this whole pad, really. Um, I mean, again, yeah, probably much more drawn to this side, but, you know, again, such pretty papers, to be honest, could make some really lovely, lovely things, actually, for our journals with this. Again, if I can bring myself to use these things, I mean, look at this. I'm sure I've used this in something before quite recently. Oh, it's just absolutely lovely. Right, okay, what's this? Oh, I've even got my insurance renewal schedule in here. It's uh, from years ago. From, from, I can't actually see a date on it, but clearly from a long time ago. I don't know, from maybe like 2000 and six or something like that um okay again these i'm not going to use these they're stickers but yeah they're not really something i would use okay right so we've whittled this well we haven't whittled this pad down i mustn't mustn't exaggerate there but tidied it up at least so that can go again on the pile right again so i have these ones again i would not probably use these these were again in a die cuts with a view pack they're quite glittered um, on these. I just, yeah, I probably just wouldn't use that. So I'm going to put that to one side. This one here, I've hoarded this for such a long time. I absolutely love this sheet of paper. I would not use this for junk journals, but I do love it. So I'm going to put it with my card making things. I've got this sheet here, which again, I mean, it's just a kind of off cut really. Um, well, not an off cut sorry a little chunk out of it so again I could put that with my scraps this to me is very obviously a baby you know baby paper um I don't know really whether I would use this or not I mean I guess we could use it well I'll put it with my scraps yeah okay right I just need to get rid of that it's titchy Okay, I've got this, which again, put it with my scraps, we can use things. This again, not a very nice looking paper, um, but very, very handy for boys, football-y type cards and things like that. So I'm just going to keep that to one side. Oh, this paper, which is absolutely yummy, isn't it? <laughs> I just love it. So, and again, I mean, a lot of these are going to look absolutely gorgeous, coffee dyed. So yeah, I will keep that. So again, just oops, lift the things up to put it under there. So again, I've got this, you know, clearly I bought this as a set. Absolutely loved it. I probably wouldn't really use this now. Maybe not even in cards. But I have to say my daughter would absolutely love this. So I'm going to give this to her to use. Okay, this to me feels very yummy and vintage already. So definitely could, could use that. So I'll just put that there. This one, uh, yep, wouldn't use this. Oh, but maybe would use this. Quite like it being on the black. Okay, I did not realise that was on the back of there. So let's put that there. More letters. So again, I'm just going to put those with my card making slash scrapbooking. Right, this is some more of that glittery paper. Again, you know, it probably wouldn't really use this, to be honest. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe I would in boys' cards, I don't know. Again, this is cardy, you know, card-making type stuff. You know, again, not the best quality paper, but 
I love the way that they all coordinate just perfectly. So, you know, you could make some really fun, nice cards with that. I wouldn't use this. Yeah, wouldn't use this one. Okay, let's just pull out these thin, thin papers here. So I wouldn't use this. This I do really like. And again, it's quite nice that it's got the coordinating pieces here. I mean, they're all quite nice, aren't they? So maybe I'll keep those. This one, again, you know, this is very neutral. So I actually could easily use this for some junk journal type bits. So I'm going to put these on the donating pile. And hang on to this one. Okay. Right. Okay, we have this one. Now, again, this is a Cairn Company paper. I've had it for years and years. I kind of wanted this pad for such a long time because I thought it was such beautiful, vibrant, lovely prints. And I've got to be honest, I probably struggled to use it quite a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but I, I just, I haven't really, you know, loved using it as much as I thought. Obviously, I haven't used it at all for a long time. So what I'm going to do, like this pale, um, certainly not pale, is it? This bright pink, I will keep this for kind of mountain and things like that, some things on. This one here, oh, again, it's got a really great neutral background. So good for mountain stuff. So I'll just put that there for a moment. Oh, more stickers. These are from, again, that scrap pad to go in the boys, um, you know, that children's one. Oh, and tags and things like that, look. Well, let's get rid of some of these little bits and bobs that are floating about. So, yeah, I mean, I'll put those with the card making. And then, oh, that's another great one for backgrounds. Okay, oh, little scraps. Let's just get rid of anything that's really tiny. They must not hoard titchy bits. So again, here, I mean, I absolutely love this, but I have struggled to use this in the past and no way I think would I use that now. So again, I'm just going to keep it for things like maybe just mounting a couple of things, or actually I'm going to put this to the side to straight away try and make some tags and things like that from that. Then we've got this blue one. Again, you know, the front quite good for making some tags and pockets and things like that. So I'll put that down there. And then we've got these couple of stripey. I always love stripey papers for card making and things like that. So I'm going to put those with the card making stuff. I know, I know, I'm supposed to be whittling this down. It's not really, it's not really whittling down very much. I, I totally agree. Another stripey for the card making. And then this one here. I mean, again, you know, it's it's only to me, this feels it's only really good for mountain things, really. Um, you know, would not probably use this. But again, just, just put that to one side. So again, I'm going to get rid of this because it's got a bit of a sheeny back. So, yeah, I just really need to, um, you know, be strong and get rid of some things. Okie dokie, right, next ones. Again, I've hoarded this because I loved it. I, I don't really love it now, so I'm going to donate that. When I say donate, I'm going to go through these and see which ones I can just use for printing and things like that, to be honest, because some of them I can definitely just use for printing. Okay, so I've got some more mulberry papers here. Obviously, I had forgotten them all about. So I'm going to just keep those. Oops, on this one. Because occasionally they come in useful. I've got this one. Again, I you know, wouldn't necessarily use that. Oh, some more stars. This one, again, absolutely loved this. I don't necessarily love it now. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that, I think. Um, this, which I think I've already kept some of this, so I don't need more, so get rid of that. This one, again, I've had this for a really long time. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't necessarily use it now, but I could, could definitely use this side for, you know, mountain things. I've got some plain pink sh sort of sheets here. Again, they're on that quite thin card uh, paper, so they're not really even any good for mountain so I'm just going to put those on the you know get rid of pile okie dokie right got this one absolutely love this um again I struggle to use the glittery bits I've got to be truthful so probably again would make things from the center bits 
and actually maybe just stamp out some butterflies, uh, punch out some butterflies or something from the glittered pots. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put that on the pile to make some things from. Then I have more of this paper. I think I did say that I bought a few of these paper packs. So again, just going to get rid of the packaging, I think, and um, just keep the paper. Okay, right. I know I'm being very wasteful and I could really reuse the outer packaging and things like that, but it's kind of come to a crisis point and I need to need to get some stuff gone really. So again, this, absolutely loved this, hoarded this for a long time. Probably wouldn't necessarily use it now, but I might use it in cards. So I put it with the card making. This one again, absolutely loved it. Do struggle to use things like this where they have the raised embossed glittered type bits. Um, yeah, I might just hoard it for a little while longer. Oh, I've still got those couple of bits there for hoarding. So again, just put those down. Right, this one, um, Tray Chic Stack. Again, I've had it for a long time and I have made several things from this already. So there's not a great deal left, but I do really love it. So definitely 100% keeping this. Oops, and then this one looks like it's the remainder of... Oh, another scrap pad to go. I went crazy for these every time I ever found one, which I was constantly, you know, scouring eBay and things looking for them. I always bought them, you know, if I could, if I could manage to get one for a good, good price. Right, that's those. I still have got more things on the chair, would you believe? This, again, absolutely love. I don't think I've even used a single sheet from here. So definitely keeping that. Then I have this one. Again, love everything in there, so I will keep that. So this one is antique papery, uh, or it's from Colourbox, so yeah. So antique papery, I think, is the name rather than the brand. And this one is uh, Craft Sensations, and it's vintage design pad. So that's those. I've got another Tilda one here, which I think my son bought me this for my birthday um, several years ago, which again, I've hoarded. But I have kind of made um, the base of a mini album from this, but I've never got around to finishing it. So I only know that because I came across it a few weeks ago in another Tidy Friday. So yeah, I should really crack on and um, use this because it's absolutely gorgeous. Right, I have more glittered paper. I don't want to keep that. And again, a bit more glittered paper here. I'm not going to keep that. Then I have this one, which is like a record. Um, yeah, I mean, again, I'm not going to keep that. So get rid of those. And then I've got this one, which again, you know, would struggle to use some of these now, if I'm truthful. So what I'll do I have again I've made a mini album from these papers um, you know a long time ago but probably now they're not you know they're not my style anymore um, so what I'm going to do this I can definitely make some card from things like that from so I should keep that with um, not cards sorry tags and things putting that on my tags pile which is behind me Honestly, like I said, I mean, just how much time I think I'm going to have for doing these things is beyond me. So, um, this one, I mean, I love this page. I probably would not use that. Unless I keep both of these for more like a scrapbook type thing. Okay, right. Put those with my card making and then, you know, we'll review it another time. This one, again, I could use the background for mounting and things like that. This one, no, definitely would not use that. So I'm just going to put that on my to be got rid of pile. Okay. This one, again, I would struggle to use this, even though I do absolutely love this. So I'm going to put it with my card making scrapbooking type stuff. This one, again, it's a little scrap. I'm going to just put this behind me. Right, we're finally getting there. So I've got some plain coloured card here. So again, these, I'm just going to put these straight with that plain coloured card that I showed you at the bottom of that rack. So just put those ready to go straight into there. So that, at least that was nice and easy. 
I had this paper pack again I don't think it's got the front on anymore so I don't know what it was called but I love this paper pack again not really for our vintage um, junk journals but I have made quite a few scrapbook pages and layouts and things from this so I'm going to put this with my scrapbook in papers and then these are I think even coffee dyed pages that I've coffee dyed before I've just got some scraps there so again all the scraps I'm just going to put you know behind me ready to do some stuff with again just some more little scraps I mean when I say scraps they're not going in my scraps bin because they're actually much larger um, but they can go there oh then I've got some sheet music I'll just put that to the side on my desk I've got this again scrap and this one I mean this one's even torn and things well I guess we could make some bits out of here like I say I mean this is probably enough to keep me going you know just my scraps pile for the next you know two months or something of projects more acetate for my napkins put that in my drawer I love this beautiful color beautiful paper okay so definitely keeping all of those did I go through this one I mean I can see straight away that I will be keeping this so yeah I think I've made some things with this before and this is the bits I'm now holding uh, another craft piece and some more craft piece here so again I mean these I wouldn't necessarily use these sides but the backs are still awesome just to stamp on and things like that again I've got this one which it's glittered up I have made something with this before again um, I think it might have been a mini album I can't quite remember I could fussy cut all these flowers out to be honest <sighs> do I have time I don't like these flowers very much well let's just keep that and just have a have a decide right I've got this deck the halls it's a Christmas one again probably not really my type of thing now um, you know obviously bought it for scrapbooking don't you know envisage myself using this overly but I could use some of the papers for you know mounting things and things like that so I'm just going to tear out the bits that I think possibly could come in useful I mean I could maybe use this for cards I don't know whether it would look too Christmassy being the red and the green I'd have to see when it comes to it again this another shaped piece which you know again I kind of had and then struggled to use right let's just get rid of these this again perfect for mounting and things like that so just keep that uh, oh it's another scrappy bit again more stripes which I'm going to get rid of that one actually I think not so keen on that um and then these ones again these are okay for a vintage a vintage journal I think so yeah I'm going to keep all of those right so the rest of the pieces there which are all these die cut pieces which are now obviously dropping all over the place I think I'm going to put those in my donating pile I mean there are some handy things there um Ah, oh, there are some handy things. So now, I don't know now. Mm, I know, you're probably all shouting, get rid of it, get rid of it. Mm, I should, I should get rid of it. Oh, thinking, oh, would I use any of these bits, you know? That, no, I won't, I won't. Let's get rid of it because, you know, otherwise I just keep and keep and keep things and it's just getting crazy and that's you know I'm trying to keep down on my my stash now so this one is a scrap of that paper that I loved so much and although it's a scrap I still can't bring myself to use this no don't be ridiculous I have a whole sheet of that right I've put it onto the pile now of the scraps okay on the home stretch so I have this one gorgeous have this stripey which again kept it probably for cards I will keep that because like I say I find stripey very good in cards 
these are just some A4 sheets. So I'm going to put these in my magazine pile behind me of just A4, you know, printed papers and things. This again, I mean, I do really like, but would I use it? It's very pretty, isn't it? I'll put that with the card making. Probably wouldn't use this anymore. Probably. Yep. Okay, I wouldn't use those. So I put those on the donating pile. That one's very pretty, so possibly use that. Probably wouldn't really use this. This. Mm, not that keen on those colours. And then more stripy and spotty, which I just always think come in handy for cards. So I will keep those. Get rid of these or, you know, use them for printing. Okay, final final piece from this, this side. Okay, so again, another one of those kind of die cutty type packs. Again, I can't really pitch myself using any of this. The only reason I'm pausing slightly is because I do always really struggle with men's cards and um, these are quite neutrally type things that I could use in some men's cards and things like that. So, oh, who am I kidding? I'm not going to use that, am I? No, I'm not going to. So let me see what I can salvage from this. So I'm thinking these two sheets because they're just very, very neutral. Okay. And get rid of the rest. Although that stripy one, maybe I will keep that for, keep that one for cards as well. I just love a stripe on a card. They just look great. Right, that's going with my card making. This is going on my, you know, get rid slash donation pile. Right, I'm going to take it back to the cupboard and we'll see where we're at now. Okay, so this is what we're left with, all those pieces that I kept saying, oh, we can make something from that. I mean, it doesn't look like a lot, but my gosh, there's many weeks worth of projects probably there. Um, so probably something for the new year. And then I'll just show you um, in the cupboard. So just on my way to the cupboard, I just thought I would show you, these are all the ones that I've kind of dug out saying I would get rid of. So I'm going to go through those and see what I can salvage to kind of just print on and things like that. And, you know, what I could, um, you know, um, see if there's anything I could do with them. And if not, they will go to the school. Um, yeah, hold on. Yay, and this is my cupboard now. So obviously I still have this entire side to go down, but I'm just going to kind of point out. So I've put everything just literally, um, you know, because to me it all feels quite suitable now for vintage. So that's all down here except for the bottom, which is obviously those brightly coloured papers there. So that's in that bottom sort of section. And then all the card making papers, the ones I saved for card making, I've just put literally on the bottom of this side. So they're there, um, you know, that would then be kept kind of separate really to the vintagey things. So in another week, we will go through the other side of the papers and hopefully kind of whittle that right down. So they're much more, you know, get to a ball now. Um, and yeah, hopefully um, be able to kind of make use of some of them. So I hope this has maybe inspired you to maybe sort through some of your papers if you're a bit of a sucker for papers like I am and um, have a great big stash from, you know, <laughs> several years worth of collecting them. Um, you know, maybe sort of pull some out and go through them. As I say, this is just a first stab and, um, you know, I might decide that actually I would prefer to sort them in colour coordinated ways or something like that. I mean, for the moment, I've just literally put them back in because to me, I feel they're all, you know, vintage. But yeah, let me know below what, you know, what methods work for you. I love hearing everyone's ideas. You're so full of, you know, fantastic ideas. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Thanks then. Bye.